My name's Will Dawes. I'm the director of chapel music here at Somerville, one of the many colleges that makes up Oxford University. My main role here is to direct Somerville College Choir, an ambitious and supportive group of around 28 singers and two organ scholars. It's a group which is mostly made up of undergrads from Somerville College, but anyone can audition to join the choir, whether you're an undergraduate, postgraduate, Somervillian, or member of another college, or even just an enthusiastic choral singer living in Oxford. The choir is open to all. To find out more about the choir, click on the link on the screen right now. But in this video, I'll explain the two ways you can audition for Somerville College Choir. The first audition opportunity is as part of the Choral Awards Scheme. This is when prospective undergraduates interested in gaining a choral scholarship to Oxford University sing to their first choice director of music. Crucially, this intercollegiate process takes place before academic interviews, so it's just the first of several steps to gaining a choral scholarship at Oxford. Full details are available on the link on the screen now, they're up to date, so do please click there for lots of information and frequently asked questions. Asher and Hannah are two members of Somerville College Choir who've taken this particular path. Hi, I'm Asher. I study German and Linguistics at Somerville, and I'm a choral scholar singing bass in Somerville College Choir. My name's Hannah. I'm a choral scholar at Somerville College Choir, and I've just finished my second year studying French. The online process was very simple. I had to rank some colleges in order of preference and provide a bit of information about myself, including my musical qualifications, so stuff like music exams and my uh, prior choral experience. So I looked at lots and lots of different choirs when I was going through the application process myself. Um, I actually found it extremely overwhelming because there were so many to choose from. But the reason that Somerville really stuck out to me was that it was the only non-denominational choir. The audition process involves an interview with the director of music at your first choice college, which is an opportunity for them to see what you're like as an individual and how you'll fit in with the choir socially. The audition itself really wasn't an intimidating or frightening experience. Um, I remember feeling really, really quite nervous outside and the second I walked in, everyone was so friendly, um, which really, really put me at ease. Don't worry if your sight reading isn't up to much, mine certainly wasn't. Uh, but like the academic interviews at Oxford, your audition is designed to give an idea of your potential and the directors of music present at your audition aren't expecting you to be at a professional standard straight away. Although I like to think I'm a pretty confident sight reader, it didn't necessarily go as planned. Um, however, Will made me feel really at ease. I think we laughed about it afterwards. Um, and here I am, loving being in Somerville College Choir. One of the best parts of the process was the opportunity to meet other applicants. The choral scholarship auditions take place before academic interviews, so it's a great way to get to know people in the same position and find out about the main Oxford application process. There was something really calming about having already met Will, the director of music, and having met some students at Somerville, which just meant that when I was going back to do interviews, I just had a, a certain confidence um, that I wouldn't have had otherwise. I would absolutely recommend anyone who wants to to audition. The process itself is really enjoyable, and even though I originally applied to a different college, I really loved seeing it at Somerville. I wouldn't let any kind of apprehension stop you from applying to Somerville Choir because, from my experience, the process will only be friendly and positive. The other set of auditions takes place in North Week of Michaelmas term, a time more commonly known as Freshers Week. This route is far more simple. If you successfully audition, you're in the choir. Vivian and Mattis are two members of the choir who took this route. Hello, my name is Mattis Heiner and I'm a member of Somerville College Choir. I'm currently finishing my master's degree at Corpus Christi College. 
My name is Vivian and I'm a first year undergraduate music student at St Anne's College. Before I came to Oxford, I had heard about the great choral environment. I really wanted to sing in a high quality choir when I went to study here, but on the other hand, with my master's degree, I had limited time on my hands. The very high singing standard of the choir and relatively low level of time commitment, the presence of a professional conductor who's super nice and friendly, extensive educational and performance opportunities for members, the very active touring and concert schedule, as well as the wide range of repertoire presented, including secular and sacred music, are all things that I was looking for in a choir to sing with. I searched on the internet where the Oxford University Music Society's homepage was especially helpful, providing links to many college choir homepages. I described my relationship with Somerville College Choir as love at first sight. In order to audition, I just wrote an email and asked Will Dawes, the music director, to set a date. I contacted Will before the start of term. As a grad student, the earlier you get in touch, the better, but definitely before North Week, when all the other auditions start. The whole atmosphere of the audition is really friendly. It's actually a great singing lesson because I remember that I was given a lot of advice after my performance. And I also think I benefited quite a lot um, from the audition itself. The process was very easy, and the audition itself was great fun. I prepared a piece in advance, in my case an area from an Italian opera, and presented it on the day, along with some sight reading and oral exercises, really nothing too hard. It's been an incredible year, and I think that's one of the best things that I've done since coming to university. Out of all the choirs I auditioned with, I went with Somerville College Choir because it had the most exciting and varied repertoire and because Will Dawes made a very competent and motivating impression from the start, which definitely proved to be true. Each route has different advantages. If you apply through the Choral Award scheme, then you stand the best chance of getting into the college choir that's most suitable for you. It may or may not be Somerville, but the Choral Award path is the best option if you definitely want to be a choral scholar. If, however, you just want to ensure that you sing in Somerville College Choir, but aren't that fussed about being a choral scholar, then the Freshers' Week or the North Week of Michaelmas term auditions is the best option for you. Whichever option you decide to take, I'd strongly recommend getting in touch with me well in advance so that we can discuss your application together. No matter when you decide to audition, the format of the 10 to 15 minute audition is identical. Firstly, there'll be some vocal exercises just to see how your range is and to get yourself sung into the particular building. Next, you'll sing a song of your choice. It can be accompanied or unaccompanied. It should be about three to four minutes in length. It doesn't have to be the whole song. There'll be some oral tests as well. These will start off being quite simple. Ranging to finding particular notes from large chords, maybe three, four or five note chords, and then maybe something a bit more complex if you're doing particularly well. Well 
Finally, there'll be some sight reading. A lot of people believe that sight reading is the most important ability for being a choral scholar or member of a college choir in Oxford. For a choir like Somerville, who only sing one event per week, sight reading is not the most important thing. You have to have a firm grasp of how to read music, but your ability of being able to sing a piece of music note perfect first time is really not essential. Everyone comes into Oxford with a level of sight reading, and that level of sight reading will improve throughout your membership of being in a college choir. If you make a mistake, that's not a problem at all. It's not about finding out how well you can get through a particular piece of music. It's all about finding out what standard you are at that point. I completely understand that auditioning isn't something that everyone really enjoys. But whatever happens, I'd strongly encourage you to have a go. Whatever the outcome of the audition, hopefully you'll leave with a better understanding of vocal technique, how to sight read, or to improve your oral skills. I hope this video has helped answer some of your questions and generally demystify the process of how you might audition for Somerville College Choir. If you have any further questions, I welcome them. My email address is on screen right now, and I'd be delighted to hear from you. Otherwise, please do keep in touch with us via our social media channels, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but of course, other social media providers are available. Thanks very much for watching. Uh...